All right, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, b -b 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 -blogs, b -b 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 Blogs, Blogs. I know it's been a minute, man, but I've just been so busy, man, caught up with a bunch of stuff, but I gotta just bear with me, y'all, trust me. After this whole house stuff, is like I, I've been telling you on the last couple videos, but I've been saying my subscribers drop, like, man, just please bear with your boy, trust me. After the house is done, your boy will completely start to build, but I just want to give you guys a little quick upload real quick. Just to give you guys some content, I know it's been a minute, but the car is dirty, so I ain't finna talk about the car when the car is dirty, so we about to go get it clean real quick, so I'm about to head there now. Alright, see y'all in a minute. Alright, what's the deal, YouTube? We have finally made it to the car wash area. Look at her, she is, she is a little dirty, man, but that's from going to the house, man. You know, it's all muddy and stuff over there, but look at it, man. This car is gorgeous, man. Look at the lights, look at Aston. We got ass to burn out here, but I'm gonna stop talking. We get to watching the car though, so I can get to talking about what we'll get into today's video. All right, all right, you guys. GoPro had died, but as you can tell, I got all of the the car washed off or hand washed off. Just I know it's a little bit stuff left that you see, but once you rinse it off and then dry it off outside, you can tell the difference. But I suggest doing this. When you're here, like rinse it first and then throw some soap on it and then wipe it down. That way you're not wasting your money if you ever come to a hand car wash. And don't ever use that over there. I'm zooming in for y'all so y'all know. Don't ever use that on a car you care about. Because that'll screw up your paint. But, yeah y'all. So, I'm going to just show y'all the finished product. That way we're not taking too long on a car washing. And we can get straight to the video. Alright, see y'all in a minute. Peace. Still buying squad, yeah, I know it's just a different, slow, different spot. It's super sunny in here, so I hope y'all can see this. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be in there. I had to get it washed up real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. But anyway, you guys, so I'm going to get straight into the video. So what today's video is about is cheap mods that you can do or cheap mods that you should do when you first get your brand new car or get a, a new car in general. So what I usually say is... It's really it's barely noticeable, but a couple people notice because they do the same thing too. But every time I get a brand new car, I always do a LED conversion. What I mean by that is, say, well, this car comes with um, LED headlights and DRL lights. I usually take in the LED fog lights, so the front end was taken care of already, so I didn't have to worry about that at all. But, however, Fords they more they mainly come with Halogen puddle lights, but well, it's gonna be hard for it to see in the daytime. But and cut them on. I did get some LED ones. They look ten times better than the, uh, the halogen, and they're super bright. They light up this whole little area right here, and instead of the halogen, just barely lit up anything. But you can see it on the paint a little bit because it's car clean. Yeah, that's nice. And also, Forget, forget the plate, but man, I'm, I'm, I already got a new plate of order, so just, just, just ignore the plate. Just ignore the plate. Just keep flapping, man. I gotta put some tape on it or something. And also, another thing I did was, oh my gosh, this plate is pissing me off. Like I said, ignore the plate, you guys. <laughs> One is already on order, but um, license plate frame. It's a little subtitle, a little some, some, some. I should have got one that covered it, but you know those like fade and get all yellow and uh, but yeah it got me a four performance one so once i get tuned and stuff you guys would know like yeah <laughs> so when everybody get behind me since i don't have my uh name on my car anymore yet you guys could just see the license plate frame like oh that's von vlogs yeah that's me it's <laughs> to so say what up though if you see me. but also back here the license plate lights also are leds so and they also came halogen which is annoying. I think on, on the Mustang, these came uh, LEDs, which is pretty cool. And another thing is, some people do the, um, well, these, this not even an uh, expense at all. All you gotta do is get like some fishing line or something real fine and get behind the uh, letters because most of them are just stuck on with like real, uh, real good adhesive. I'm gonna probably just take this off because, uh, you know, I've always wanted a sport, so I'm going to keep the sport badge on here. I might change the color of it, but who knows yet. I haven't decided. But I am definitely going to take the EcoBoost all-wheel drive off. And I'm probably going to, I don't know yet if I want to keep the Fusion or 
remove the fusion, but I'm keeping the sport. So let me know you guys, should I keep the fusion and the sport and take away the all-wheel drive and EcoBoost badge? Or should I just remove it all and just have it clean on the back so you guys won't know? Let me know. Link it in the comment section below. Let me know. And that's another mod also. Um, also, I'm thinking about getting some, but people also get some overlays for these. Instead of having them blue, they get some black overlays, and these are real cheap. And then, I wouldn't say, uh, uh, also the uh, Chrome Delete. Which I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but I'm I'm liking the Chrome so far. <laughs> the Chrome looked dope, especially with the wheels I got in mind. It's going to tie in dope. No, they're not Chrome. <laughs> they're like, well, you guys just gotta wait and see. Just just stay tuned to that content. But they're not uh, Chrome or whatever. But they're going to tie in kind of like the same color as these wheels. That's all I'm giving you guys. But a lot of people do the Chrome delete. They do it like black. What I just thought about doing also was going with a carbon fiber all around, but I, I thought that would be a little too corny. So, I'm like, nah, I ain't about to do that, man. But, like I said, I don't know if I'm getting older or what, but I like the chrome for some odd reason. It just looked dope. Um, and I think that's it for the, the exterior without getting to like the, yeah, they got the front overlays too, not just the rears. They got the front overlays too. Um, I don't know if this is cheap because it also it varies on different cars. But when you're doing like exterior mods, the whole Aero kit, I have one in mine, but I wouldn't say it's a relatively cheap thing because these I know my Mustang, I pay almost $400 for my lip, so I, that I'm not gonna include the, uh, the Aero kit because the Aero kit can get pretty expensive. So, and I got a whole complete Aero kit in mine, but. I gotta do something first so it can look 10 times better. Which stay tuned to the end of the video so you guys can see that. But, however, we're gonna move to the inside now. Okay, moving into the inside. If you get a car, just got the car wash yourself so it's a little, a little messy in here. But anyway, guys, so I think yeah, shout out to Riley for this. But he had did this on his F-150. Because one, I was gonna put a brand new steering wheel in here, but a lot of companies don't make the uh the heated i haven't found a heated one yet so i just got these little covers for all the the silver parts and they look really nice and then also i got the paddle shifter extenders these look really nice because I, I couldn't have a little them little puny things man if i wanted to get super into shifting gears some little small things man had to get rid of that so i had to get extended ones so yeah they look really dope but most of this car was already completed with the um because the sport comes with a lot of upgraded features like and also these are cheap too you get little overlays for this it's like we can get vinyl overlays or whatever but if you do it yourself it's really cheap but if you get somebody to do it it get pretty expensive like on my fusion if you guys all the og subscribers know when i had my first fusion i had this all red these are this is very easy to take off if you want to change the color of it like take it off and spray it or whatever you just i think well, I haven't took it off on this car, and I'm not taking it off because I like the way it looks in here. And it ties in with everything i got going on in here so far. And I want to see if I can get some overlays or covers for these. Make these like the same color. Or like some carbon fiber. And also, some cheap mods, but like I said, the Sport comes with a lot of stuff. Like, as you guys can see the, in there, the cup holder's got LED lights in it. And down there, and lights up here. But you can get some that tie into the... um. The cigarette lighter or the cigarette port, back in the day, that's what they called it, but I don't know what they call it now. But back in the day, it was just the cigarette lighter. They got some that uh, they tie into there that you can put up under the footwells. With, with this being the Sport, the Sport already comes with it, and my Mustang had it too, so I had to have <laughs> the ambient lighting all around. So, that's another thing you guys can put in. Only thing it, it doesn't have is the lights in the rear, but I don't really care because I don't really sit back there. All I really care about is the lights being up here and stuff. At night, this thing is beautiful. I might get a little overlay for this too, like a black overlay. I have one of my uh, my other Fusion, so I want to get this all black. I don't want to say for it at all. But that's pretty much it that I can think about. And also, if you guys want, well, another cheap mod to make you like stand out from the rest is 
you guys can take the wheels off and paint the calibers a different color. I haven't, I'm not going to do it yet until I get my wheels on, get the car exactly how I want it. So I know how color I exactly want it because I don't want to take the paint off and redo it again. But that's another thing that you guys can do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it that I can think of right now at the moment. And some other things is like I did this on my Mustang. I blacked this out with some vinyl. I don't think it'll look right on this car because I think it'd be just too much. So I might just like later on in the future, after I get everything taken care of, I might just have somebody retrofit these for me. All I want to probably to do is to black out the amber light and probably get rid of the chrome. If I do something to the chrome, I'm not sure yet. So that's why I'm going to wait till the build is completely done in order to get these taken care of. And also around there, I probably want some LEDs. But I don't know, that's kind of... That's kind of corny to me, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Some of that stuff just be corny. Like, I'd just rather have it stock or normal. Just the, uh, just some light stuff in the headlights blacked out. And then just make the, the head, I mean, the, uh, the blinker sequential. That's it. Because right now it just flashed. Like, let me show you guys. Yeah, see right there, it just flashed. I'd rather have it going like that. But that's all I do, man. I don't like all that extra stuff. That's too, like, that's back in the day, it's all like fast and fierce and stuff. Now, also, another cheap mod is, I don't think I'm doing it on this car, because I like the grill. I'm still debating if I, if I want another grill or not, but some people get new grills. They're really cheap e eBay grills uh, for certain cars. Like, my last one I had on my uh, my old Fusion, I had, I think that one cost me like 80 bucks. It's just a pain, man, but, because there's tabs in the back of here. That you gotta like use a, a knife or something like a uh, a puller puller tool or something like that to uh, stick in there and pull push out at the same time. It's frustrating, man. So I don't even want to deal with it. But there are some grills I have in mind. But like I said, I want to wait till I completely finish the build to get into like the uh, the other colors that I want to mess around with. But I think that's about it, you guys. So far. And I don't know if it's expensive or not. I think it's like, I think at most for 200, like 250 bucks. I say if you got a white car or like a bright car, like most of the people do it on white cars, but I think it's like 250 bucks to black out the roof and it really changed up the look. Like you got a whole like piano roof, like a whole glass roof or something like that. It's pretty dope. But on this car, it's really not noticeable. If I were to put a black roof on there, uh, black wrap roof, you guys would not know notice it because uh, how dark the color of the car is. But yeah, man, like I said, that's about it. Just a few cheap mods that you could do first when you first get your car. That's not expensive. That won't that won't break the bank or anything. But and also another thing is what you guys could do is a muffler delete too. Now some cars that sound nasty, but this car is count. It sounds pretty good, but. I don't really like doing muffler deletes, to be honest. I'd rather go with an axle back or something that I actually get a good tone out of it, not just something just done. So, that's something I'm going to be doing. So, just stay tuned for that, you guys. Uh, man, I'm telling y'all, this this build is going to be dope, man. And I'm like, I ain't never seen a food sport like that. Yeah, man, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm telling y'all. You already know what we do, man. Y'all seen what we did to the Mustang. Y'all seen what we did to the... The other fusion, man. Just stay tuned to the vlog, man. I never disappoint. Never disappoint. But, alright, you guys. It's your boy, Von Vlogs TV. Wait, hold on. Alright, it's your boy, Von Vlogs TV. Check it out, man. What the hell? Look at these birds trying to catch up. Oh! Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. These birds trying to attack me, y'all. Oh, man. These birds trying to attack me, y'all. But anyway, it's your boy, Von Vlogs TV. I just watched the car. I just thought about that. We gotta get out of here, y'all. We gotta get out of here. Just start the car. But they boo booing my whip, man. They gonna start attacking me. <laughs> be mad in the mud. Yuck! Copyright, copyright. But anyway, you guys, so appreciate y'all for watching the videos and continue to rock with your boy, man. After we are done with the, the whole house build, man, get in the house, everything's straightened out. Those mods will be taken care of, like I said. So just stay tuned and trust the process, man. Just trust me. You're not gonna want to miss this. One. You're not gonna want to miss this. One. But anyway, it's your boy Von Vlogs TV checking out with another banger video. Never forget, 
Trust God, never lose faith, because he'll never lose faith and trust in you. Peace.